Hey friends, welcome to our homestead. Today we are out fixing the tractor. We had a leak the other day in the fuel system and today we are replacing the fuel filter assembly. I'll show you how we do it. When you live in a homestead, you need to learn how to do a lot of different things. I'm not a diesel mechanic, but logic tells me how to put in things like this. Take it apart, put it back together the same way. Of course, there's things like bleeding this out that you have to do, but it's really not that difficult. And if any of my subscribers are diesel mechanics, let me know if there are any quick tricks and tips that you would recommend beyond what I do for this. So on the old assembly, this is the piece that broke right here. I moved the tractor into the barn one day and heard a rush of liquid, and that was all my diesel pouring out of my tank because this fitting right here on the inlet side of the fuel filter popped out. Now I tried to replace an O-ring or whatever was in there, but it's not that. And you're gonna have to excuse the chicken noises. I'm right here in the barn next to the coop. So on this Cubby Cadet tractor, we have a Mitsubishi 1.3 liter four cylinder diesel engine. I'm not sure the uh, number of the engine, but this fuel filter from Mitsubishi will fit a lot of different uh, engines. And this one has a connection point here and one at the top. For our specific tractor and the bracket that's on it, we are gonna utilize this hole right here to connect it to the tractor. Let's get to it. So here's our fuel filter assembly. Here's the line in from the fuel tank and this, this is the hose that shot straight out of the assembly here. And it's got this little lip on this fitting. There's a little bit of fuel left in it, but not much. I, the entire tank drained because I could not get this put back in. That little lip right there holds some sort of seal and that deteriorated. So this hose here is the outlet and this whole bowl is full of fuel. So I'm gonna clamp this off and I hope I don't have to bleed the entire system. If I do, here is the inline filter and it comes over here to the injectors. And I believe this is the final point where I would have to bleed it. But this whole assembly here on some tractors is connected by that bolt hole. Ours is connected right on top. This is the connection bolt for our particular assembly and it's through the top of the bracket. So let's get this line off, pinch it off, and then replace this assembly. It should be pretty fast. Take all the hoses off and if you need to replace them because they're old, do that. You see the difference here? My old bowl is really corroded on the inside. The color has changed and the plastic has uh, also been changed over time. It's 22 years old. Now we need to get this old fitting out of this supply hose. so we can place it on the new filter. So on these particular fuel assemblies from Mitsubishi, for these years, you've got an off and on and air bleed on this right here. So there's no screws to air bleed it. You'll simply flip this switch over to this side to bleed it out. And then the bowl assembly on the bottom here is just hand tightened. So don't over tighten that. It's got a O-ring in here that sits up right there against those threads. So we're gonna reconnect our bowl, hand tighten it, not too tight. We're gonna connect our inlet line, our bleed line, and our outlet here. We're gonna bleed the air out of the system, fill up the bowl, bleed the air out of the system, and as soon as the air is done coming out this line at the top, we can see if we need to bleed it at the injector. If we don't, we'll fire it up. This is really easy. We're just gonna align this top nut here, or the top bolt, sorry, and start connecting it into place. It's really very simple. So the, here's the old bleed hose, and of course, all the extra hose that I have on the homestead is all the wrong size. I need to stock up on all sizes. I'll put this one on for the time being. Now before I connect my line out, I'm going to fill my tank back up and start bleeding this through this fuel filter assembly until I can get all or most of the air out of here and then reconnect. We're only gonna put a little bit in to start, enough to get through the system, because I don't wanna waste diesel if I did something incorrectly. So if your tank's empty, don't fill it up 
all the way. You can see that fuel is filling up the bowl nicely. I'm gonna wait for it to come out of our air bleed. Here's a mistake I just made. If you don't have any pressure on this side with your uh, outlet hose, then it won't come out your air bleed. It'll just come out the outlet, even if you're switched over to air. So the only time it's gonna bleed through is if you change the filter in the bowl and don't take this line off because it's it's got diesel already in it or fuel already in it. So that air bleed is only for when you change the fuel filter and take the bowl off. So let's get our line back on. Now we're going to bleed it. So since there was only about one inch of air in the outlet line here and none of the fuel drained out of the injector or anything on this side of the fuel filter assembly, we should be okay to not bleed it at the injector. Everything drained out from the tank on the inlet side of the fuel filter assembly. So we should be good to go. Let's fire it up. All right, friends, that was a relatively easy fix, and you need to know how to do things like that on your homestead to fix your equipment, and here's why. It's because right now in our country and in the very near future, it's gonna be extremely difficult for people to get anything fixed. Uh, our economy's faltering, and it's gonna be even difficult to find parts. It took me a lot to be able to find that fuel filter. So if you can buy a tractor or a piece of equipment that's a little more common, I would do that. This one is not. It's all I could afford at the time that I got it, but hey, I gotta do what I gotta do. Maybe I'll sell this thing and get something that's more common like a Kubota or a Deer. The Mitsubishi engine itself is common, but most of the parts are discontinued for this year and that engine. But tractors are fairly bulletproof, so you shouldn't have to fix things that often on them if they are only 20 years old like this one. But friends, like I said, I'm not a diesel mechanic, but I need to learn basic stuff to be able to do things like this so that I'm not trying to scramble around trying to find somebody who may or may not be there and maybe just way out of my price range. So I want you to broaden your skills on your homestead. I want you to learn plumbing. I want you to learn mechanics. I want you to learn building. I want you to learn elect electrical. I want you to learn growing. I want you to learn a little bit about everything and start doing it now because you're, you are gonna need those skills very, very soon. All right, now that she's fixed, I gotta get to work. Now check out these videos right here which shows you exactly how we built our greenhouse. Have a beautiful, blessed day. We'll see you next time.